Hey guys, welcome to Ready Bake. Today I'm going to show you how to do a raw or deckled edge buttercream cake. So the term deckled edge comes from the process of paper making where it used to be pressed and not cut and left with this gorgeous feathery edge and we've taken inspiration and brought that to the world of cake. So a deckled edge cake has that gorgeous raw rough lip around the top edge which can be a gorgeous look especially if you're looking for something a bit rustic or just a bit of a textural element instead of your plain straight edge. So to do this today, I've just got my usual tools that I'll use when I'm icing a cake. So I've got my cake crumb coated and ready to go. And that's sitting on my turntable. I've got some extra buttercream, my palette knife or offset spatula, and my cake scraper. So let's jump straight into it. I'm gonna grab some buttercream and pop it on top of my cake and then just spread it around. Give it a bit of a mix before you use it to get rid of any extra air bubbles and that'll get it nice and smooth for you. So put on a nice big dollop and then grab your palette knife and spread it around. Start at the top. Spread it nice and smooth and then I like to get any overhang and push that around the edges. At this point, you wanna go over the top and try and make it as smooth as you can because once we do the edge, we're not gonna be able to scrape back over the cake very easily and smooth it out again. Now I'm gonna take my palette knife and just re-spread all that extra icing that we've just pushed around. Now how we're gonna make our edge is by making sure that that icing level comes up over where the top of the cake finishes. So now we can grab our scraper and scrape around. You can use this technique for a semi-naked look, you can do a fuller coverage, you can do coloured buttercream or just white, so it's really versatile. Go back in and fill in any little holes or bits that you've missed. And have a bit of a look around the top as well. And make sure that you can see that everywhere's got enough of a lip. So down here, I reckon that needs a little bit more. So I'm just gonna go and put in a little bit more. And that'll push up and form that deckled edge. So just keep going around and repeating the process until you get that really nice smooth side that you're after. And also depending on how thick you want that deckled edge, you can just keep adding more and more buttercream and it'll just contribute to a thicker and thicker edge. Now this is a great technique where you maybe don't have to be quite so careful about getting that absolute perfect finish because the beauty lies in the imperfections. So you've already got that rough edge and it's gonna look great if you've got some extra texture around the sides as well. When you're done and you're happy, make sure you tidy up the edges a little bit. Although I always like to do a better job at that once I've popped it in the fridge so everything on the cake is a little bit more stable and I'm not as likely to knock it and dent it and do any damage to it. I am all done with this cake now and all its beautiful texture so I'm gonna go put it in the fridge but I hope this video helps you nail that perfectly imperfect rough buttercream edge. 